everyone today we will be doing chapter 7 ratio proportion and unity method important topics explaining different questions from the chapters related to ratio and proportion number 2 explaining different questions related to unity method from the chapter now children first of all for ratio find the ratio of 75 paisa to rupees 6 10 liters to 250 ml this two i will explain 75 paisa to rupees 6 now you see when you compare the ratio the two unit should be similar here one is in paisa another in rupees so i will convert 6 paisa into rupees by multiplying 6 into 100 because we know 1 rupee is equal to 100 paisa so 6 into 100 600 paisa now both the units are in same ratio 75 paisa is to 600 paisa now right side in the fraction form 75 by 600 75 once 75 75 8s are 600 1 by 8 or 1 is to 8 next part 10 liters to 250 ml here again one is in liter the other one is in ml let's say milliliter into uh, liter into milliliter that is 10 liter 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml so 10 liter means 10 into 1000 10000 ml now both them of them are in the same unit 10000 ml is to 250 ml let's write in the fraction form 10000 by 250 250 1 to 250 250 40 ja is 10000 so the ratio is 40, 40 by 1 or 40 is to 1 so we'll take two okay. children will take two ratios 15 is to 20 and 20 is to 30 and compare which one is greater let's write 15 by 20 as 15 by 20 as 20 by 30 15 is to 20 as 15 by 20 and 20 is to 30 as 20 by 30 let's cross multiply 15 into 30 first 15 30 is a 450 and 20 into 20 20 20 is a 400 since we see 450 is greater than 400 so our left hand side ratio that is 15 is to 20 is greater than 20 is to 30 one more i take next opens at 9:30 am and closes at 5:30 pm with a lunch interval of 30 minutes what is the ratio of lunch interval to the total period in the office now find out the ratio of these two first lunch ratio of lunch interval to total period in the office what is the inter lunch interval 30 minutes and what is the total time period in the office 9:30 to 5:30 8 hours and we know 8 hours means 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes 8 hour means 8 into 60 480 minutes as i said both the units should be in the same okay both the time should be in the same unit 30 minutes now 480 minutes 480 minutes means 8 hours so the ratio can be written as like this 30 is to 480 30 by 480 in the ratio form, uh, fraction form 30 on the 30 30 16 is a 480 so 1 by 16 or 1 is to 16 now children for unitary method question a worker is paid rupees 168 for 6 days what is the wages he would get for 28 days Let's start the solution. This is unity method question. Wages paid for six days is equal to one sixty eight. Wages paid for twenty eight days is one sixty eight by six. It is for one day. Okay, one sixty eight divided by six means for one day into twenty eight days for more. So we cancel this. Six one the six. Six twenty eight is a one sixty eight. So twenty eight into twenty eight is rupees seven thousand seven hundred eighty four. So he will be paid rupees seven hundred eighty four for twenty eight days. Hmm. If eleven tins of biscuit cost rupees sixty eight point seven five, what is the cost of thirty three tins? Question, unity method question. Cost of eleven tins of biscuit rupees sixty eight point seven five. Cost of thirty three tins of biscuits sixty eight point seven five divided by eleven. So when I divide this, it is for unity method means for one tin of biscuit, and I multiply by thirty three means now I am finding the value for thirty three units, thirty three tins of biscuits. So sixty eight point seven five divided by eleven for one tin into thirty three tins. So I cancel eleven and eleven. Eleven three is a thirty three. Now sixty eight point seven five into thirty uh, into three is two hundred six point two five. Children, this is the explanation of this chapter. Homework: Show that sixteen comma eighty four comma and four hundred forty one are in proportion. 